There are many stable theories that have persisted because of a preponderance of evidence that points to and continues to point to the same conclusion. After 46 years in space, Voyager 1's final transmissions have revealed something astronomers never expected to find, potential evidence of what lies beyond the edge of our observable universe. For decades, scientists have debated what the universe is expanding into, if anything at all. Now, Voyager 1's last data might have given us our first real clues. Currently traveling at over 38,000 miles per hour and approximately 15 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 1 stands as humanity's most distant ambassador to the cosmos. This ancient spacecraft, designed in the 1970s with less computing power than your smartphone, has somehow managed to capture readings that are sending shockwaves through the astronomical community. The instrument readings suggest patterns that don't align with our current models of interstellar space, patterns that could represent the first measured evidence of what exists beyond the boundaries of our known universe. What makes these findings so revolutionary is that they weren't supposed to happen at all. Voyager 1 was never designed to travel this far or operate this long. Yet here we are, receiving data from the ultimate edge of human exploration that might finally answer one of cosmology's most profound questions. If the universe contains everything, what could it possibly be expanding into? Despite its age and dwindling power supply, several key instruments on Voyager 1 remain operational. Most critically, its plasma wave subsystem and magnetometer continue to collect data about the environment outside our solar system. These instruments, designed with 1970s technology, are somehow still sending back readings, readings that are now causing astronomers to question their most fundamental assumptions. But what Voyager detected at the edge of our solar system challenges Everything we thought we knew about the universe's expansion, the spacecraft's sensors have picked up patterns in the interstellar medium that don't match our current models. Unusual fluctuations in magnetic fields and plasma densities that suggest something extraordinary might be happening at the boundaries of known space. These anomalous readings might be our first tangible evidence of what exists beyond the cosmic horizon or what our universe might actually be expanding into. If you're fascinated by these cosmic discoveries that are rewriting our understanding of the universe, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss our weekly explorations of space's greatest mysteries. But what Voyager detected next is even more mind-blowing and might finally give us an answer to the question, what is our universe actually expanding into? The mainstream model of universal expansion is built on Einstein's general relativity which describes our universe as expanding in all directions simultaneously. According to this model, space itself is stretching, carrying galaxies along like dots on an inflating balloon. This expansion isn't just continuing, it's accelerating. In 2011, Dr. Brian Schmidt shared the Nobel Prize in Physics for his groundbreaking discovery that the universe's expansion is actually speeding up, not slowing down as previously thought, his team's observations of distant supernovas revealed this acceleration, pointing to the mysterious force we now call dark energy, an invisible pressure that pushes space apart and accounts for roughly 68% of the universe's total energy. Here's where things get truly mind-bending. Most people imagine the universe expanding into something, some external space or dimension, but cosmologists have long explained that this is a misconception. The universe isn't expanding into anything. Rather, space itself is stretching everywhere at once. There is no outside to expand into. This creates the ultimate paradox. If the universe contains everything that exists, all matter, energy, space, and time, what could it possibly be expanding into? By definition, there can't be anything outside the universe because the universe encompasses all of reality. Yet mathematically, the expansion continues without requiring any external space. This paradox has haunted physicists for decades, with theories ranging from multiple dimensions to parallel universes attempting to resolve it. But until now, these ideas remain purely theoretical, mathematical constructs with no observational evidence to support them. Voyager 1's data may have just given us the first observational evidence of what exists beyond the boundaries of our known universe something theorists have debated for decades but never been able to measure. Voyager's Unexpected Measurements 
Voyager 1's plasma wave subsystem recently detected a series of unusual oscillations in the interstellar medium. Ripples in the thin gas between stars that don't match any known model of interstellar space. These waves appear at regular intervals, but with frequencies that defy explanation based on our current understanding of plasma physics. Even more puzzling are the magnetometer readings showing directional shifts in the interstellar magnetic field. Scientists expected these fields to maintain relatively consistent orientations over vast distances, but Voyager detected abrupt changes, almost like crossing invisible boundaries in space where the fundamental properties of the medium suddenly shift. What makes these readings so extraordinary is their pattern. In normal interstellar space, we'd expect random fluctuations caused by stellar winds and cosmic rays. Instead, Voyager detected what some researchers describe as structured discontinuities, as if the spacecraft is passing through distinct regions with different physical properties. The scientific community remains divided on what these readings actually mean. Dr. Mara Vofer from Boston University suggests they could indicate domain walls in space, boundaries between regions with different quantum vacuum states. Others, like plasma physicist Dr. James Drake, propose they might be evidence of interaction between our universe and adjacent ones. Another interpretation comes from theoretical physicist Dr. Lisa Randall, who sees possible connections to her work on brain world theory, the idea that our universe exists as a membrane in higher dimensional space. The anomalous readings could represent the first detection of these extra dimensions affecting the interstellar medium. What's particularly fascinating is how these readings might relate to the nature of space at the cosmic edge. If our universe is like a bubble expanding in a higher dimensional medium, Voyager might be detecting subtle effects from beyond our cosmic horizon, the first tangible evidence of what exists outside our observable universe and possibly what it's expanding into. These unprecedented measurements could be our first glimpse into what lies beyond our cosmic horizon, potentially revolutionizing our understanding of the universe's structure and future. The anomalous data from Voyager 1 has triggered a firestorm of theoretical speculation in the cosmological community. The multiverse theory, long considered an untestable mathematical construct, suddenly finds potential observational support. The regular patterns in Voyager's readings could represent what physicist Dr. Max Tegmark calls quantum interference patterns between parallel universes existing in close proximity to our own. If our universe is just one bubble in a vast cosmic foam, Voyager might be detecting subtle interactions with neighboring universes. What's particularly exciting is the possibility that Voyager has detected boundary effects between universes. The abrupt changes in magnetic field direction and plasma density could indicate what theoretical physicist Dr. Andre Linde describes as domain walls, actual boundaries where the fundamental constants of physics subtly shift. These would be the cosmic equivalent of shores where different universes lap against each other in the higher dimensional space they inhabit. Cosmic inflation theory, which proposes that the universe underwent a period of exponential expansion immediately after the Big Bang, also gains new relevance from these findings. Dr. Alan Guth, inflation's pioneer, suggests Voyager's data might reveal bubble nucleation signatures, where our universe is still inflating into a higher dimensional bulk space. The regular patterns detected could be ripples in the cosmic fabric caused by this ongoing inflation. Perhaps most profound are the implications for our universe's ultimate fate, if Voyager's readings confirm we're expanding into something, this could resolve the mystery of dark energy, the force accelerating our universe's expansion. Instead of a big freeze where galaxies drift eternally apart, or a big crunch where everything collapses back together, we might face a big rip scenario where our universe tears at its seams as it pushes against whatever lies beyond. What Voyager may have stumbled upon is nothing less than evidence for the most fundamental structure of reality, explains Dr. Kip Thorne, Nobel laureate and one of the world's leading experts on gravitational physics. If these readings hold up to scrutiny, we may need to completely revise our understanding of cosmology. The universe may not be all there is, and for the first time, we might have actual empirical evidence of that fact, not just mathematical models. Thorne cautions against premature conclusions, 
but acknowledges the potential significance. Throughout history, when our instruments reach new thresholds of sensitivity, we often discover reality is stranger than we imagine. Voyager has reached farther than any human-made object. We should expect the unexpected. The most revolutionary aspect of these findings is that they may transform untestable metaphysics into empirical science. Theories about what lies beyond our universe might finally be subject to actual observation and verification. What Voyager 1 has discovered might finally answer the question that has puzzled humanity since we first looked up at the stars. Are we alone in the cosmos, or is our universe just one of many? Despite the excitement surrounding Voyager 1's readings, significant limitations must be acknowledged. The spacecraft's instruments were designed in the 1970s and have been operating far beyond their intended lifespan. The power supply continues to diminish, with only about 4 watts of power remaining for all scientific instruments combined. Less than a refrigerator light bulb. This degradation raises legitimate questions about data reliability. The plasma wave subsystem, while still functioning, operates with significantly reduced sensitivity. The magnetometer, crucial for these discoveries, has developed calibration issues that engineers must constantly compensate for from 15 billion miles away. As Dr. Suzanne Dodd, Voyager's project manager, notes, we're working with technology that's older than most of the scientists analyzing its data. Several alternative explanations could account for the anomalous readings without invoking exotic physics. Interstellar shock waves from distant supernovas could create patterns mimicking what we're seeing. Dr. Edward Stone, Voyager's original project scientist, suggests the possibility of previously unknown phenomena within interstellar space itself. Complex plasma behaviors that simply haven't been observed before because no spacecraft has ventured this far. Another possibility is instrument degradation creating false patterns. The radiation environment beyond the heliosphere is harsh, potentially causing electronic glitches that manifest as regular signals. Without redundant instruments or another spacecraft for confirmation, distinguishing genuine discoveries from technical artifacts remains challenging. Confirming these findings will require new dedicated missions specifically designed to investigate these phenomena. Unlike Voyager, which stumbled upon these readings accidentally, next-generation probes would carry specialized equipment with far greater sensitivity and resolution. NASA's proposed interstellar probe concept aims to travel three times faster than Voyager, reaching 1,000 astronomical units within 50 years, equipped with instruments capable of detecting the subtle signals that might confirm what lies beyond. The European Space Agency has accelerated development of its Comet Interceptor mission, which could be modified to include instruments for studying interstellar boundaries. Meanwhile, China's Space Agency recently announced its Interstellar Express initiative, targeting a 2030 launch date for a dedicated probe to investigate these anomalies. Even if these missions launch soon, confirmation will take decades. The mysteries at the edge of our cosmic understanding won't yield answers quickly. As astronomer Dr. Jesse Christensen puts it, these are questions that span generations of scientists. The search has just begun. Voyager 1's unexpected readings have opened a new chapter in our cosmic understanding. From its humble beginnings as a planetary explorer to becoming our first interstellar messenger, this remarkable spacecraft may have delivered its most important discovery just as its power begins to fade. The patterns detected in interstellar space whether they represent multiverse boundaries, higher dimensions, or previously unknown physical phenomena, challenge our fundamental conception of reality. When we look at the constellation of evidence, the structured oscillations in the plasma environment, the directional shifts in magnetic fields, and the mathematical models that predicted such phenomena, a compelling picture emerges. While no single explanation has gained universal acceptance, the scientific community agrees on one thing. Something extraordinary is happening at the edge of our known universe. As we revisit our opening revelation about what the universe might be expanding into, we now understand the profound implications. If Voyager has truly detected evidence of a beyond, it transforms how we conceive of our cosmic home. The universe may not be all there is. Our reality, vast as it seems with its hundreds of billions of galaxies, 
might be just one bubble in an unimaginably larger existence. Yet we must approach these findings with appropriate scientific caution. The history of science teaches us that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. While Voyager's data is tantalizing, definitive answers await more powerful instruments and dedicated missions. Science progresses incrementally, building consensus through repeated observation and rigorous analysis. What remains undeniable is the wonder of this moment. A spacecraft built when Nixon was president, using computer technology less powerful than a modern calculator, has potentially answered one of humanity's most profound questions. We sent Voyager to photograph planets, but it might have photographed the boundaries of reality itself. Perhaps the most awe-inspiring aspect of this discovery is not just what it tells us about the universe, but what it reveals about ourselves, a species capable of building machines that travel between stars and send back whispers of cosmic truths. In our quest to understand what lies beyond the universe, we've discovered something equally profound within ourselves, an unquenchable curiosity that drives us to explore the greatest mysteries of existence. If you found this cosmic revelation fascinating, you won't want to miss our upcoming exploration of what dark energy really is and how it's shaping our universe's destiny. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you're always the first to know about the latest breakthroughs in our understanding of the cosmos. Our next video will take you inside the cutting-edge experiments happening right now that might finally explain the force pushing our universe apart. The answers might be even stranger than you imagine. Join us as we continue our journey through the greatest mysteries of existence.